Hello all. Welcome back to Anbu's Hobbies. In today's video, we are going to look into Apache Camel and Spring Boot integration. This is going to be a series of video on Apache Camel and Spring Boot integration where we will be implementing the enterprise integration patterns. So this is the introduction video and we will also see a project setup for our upcoming videos. Let's jump into the video. Apache Camel is a versatile and open source integration framework that simplifies integration of different systems and applications through various patterns and protocols. This might be a little confusing for you guys, but don't worry. I'll be explaining you guys everything in a simple terms where you will be able to understand the power of Apache Camel by you know integrating that with Spring Boot. Integrating Camel and Spring Boot together, we will be able to achieve a powerful synergy where Camel brings rich integration of capabilities while Spring Boot provides a microservices friendly environment. So together, it's going to offer us a seamless and efficient way to develop robust integration solutions. Let's jump into the project creation. Let's head over to Spring Initializer. Well, I'll just select Maven and I did select 3.2 but there is no camel uh, support. If you look at here, if I'm going for camel, at the time of recording this video, I don't have support uh, for greater than 2.0. Uh, so, or greater than or equal to 2.0, I'm just going to downgrade. If you to 3.1 I'll just update all this and then go ahead and we'll select camel it's Apache camel and uh, dev tools and Lombok so all these have included already and downloaded the project let me open the project for you guys so if you look at the palm it is having the dev tools camel spring boot starter and Lombok and the test cases right so I'll also be explaining uh, how we can include the camel test into to test your routes and everything okay so let's jump into the project structure if you look at here so this is the application class which initializes the spring boot, spring boot application and we have the router class uh, which you know uh, extends the route builder so we need a route in camel to consume or produce to an endpoint, right? So the routes will be configured using the configured method, which is provided by the abstract method of the route builder. So to explain this camel context, I'm just going to show you an image of how, how a message or anything is consumed from an endpoint and produced to an endpoint, right? Let me move ahead to the people. So if you look at here, so this is a picture which I have made to explain you guys the camel context, how the route, how a message flow through a source to a destination in a route, right? So if you look at here, there is a route which is configured to consume message from a source queue and produce message into a destination queue. In between, you can see there are message translators. So processor decider whether to move ahead. That is, it's called filters and uh, and routers. So all those are involved in between. You know, after consuming the message, and then once everything is done uh, successfully, we can post the message to the destination queue, right? So the endpoint is mentioned. Um, with I, I made a spelling mistake here this is a component so component colon and this uh, resource right so in this case it's a JMS queue so JMS colon source and then if you want to specify any option to the JMS like concurrent consumers um, like that you can mention it here and if you look at here the exchange so once the message is consumed, if you look at here, so 
all the messages will be inside the exchange inside the in object right so the exchange whatever the input that we are getting that will be as in so the input is mentioned um, it will be inside the in object so that the message will be inside it and uh, the exchange will be uh, you know um, passed on to each level once each updates the exchange the message or anything any modification done to the exchange will be handed over to the next procedures let's say um, the decider there is a decider which which updates some value which validates some value after the processor completes then the complete exchange will be given to the decider and then um, similarly to any other filters or whatever it may be let me there is one more processor which is processing after the decider still the exchange will be exchanged to this one right and then the exchange will be given to the destination queue so the message will be posted here so this is how the overall um, camel context work the camel context will be initialized um, whenever your application starts and then it will be uh, exited until you uh, specifically mentioned the thread has to execute um, the camel main controller uh, had has to execute right and uh, for each and every um, uh, consume you know message when you when you get there will be a separate thread created by camel context and then it will be stopped uh, once the message all the all the you know process has been done inside um, your the particular route and then it is posted to destination that it will be destroyed so this is the overall picture of how the camel context routes work let's move into the code and explain you how i have designed it so if you look at here i have configured two routes so the first route has an endpoint um, um, as file colon source right so this is called the component name file is a component and then this is the resource name and this is called the option so here what i'm doing is i'm just going to read this directory and just going to write the name as a log and then post it to a next process a direct process is just you know the uh, endpoint which you know uh, directs inside our code where this endpoint is mentioned right so i'm just posting the uh, complete exchange to this endpoint this one endpoint and once this is done uh, this is going to just get the exchange and post it here and that uh, this endpoint is going to consume the value from here once this is consumed it goes and then reads the body of the file and it is going to process it right so the processor you will mention it's like this right the process of what is the processor what is the process that you want to call the processor further it's going to get the exchange so we are going to implement the processor in interface which in um, so in this interface as a method called process which will get the exchange object from the camel context so once that is done we will get the body by using this i told you that the exchange object contains the message if you look at the di uh, diagram which i given see here the exchange object contains the message object in it right and that message you can get the message and and its body so this is how i'm going to get the body of the uh, exchange uh, exchange message once this is done i'm just going to transform whatever is available whatever when the when it finds a word called world i'm just renaming it to my name and i'm also resetting the uh, message body to this value right once that is done i'm just logging it and further see what happens is now we have modified the exchange the same exchange will be used further down the route so after this point whatever we modified in the processor will be carried to the next line so here i'm just again uh, logging the body to make sure that whatever we modified or translated is printed here and then i'm stopping the route so because there is no more uh, processing i'm going to do here with this route and the process starts from here 
and post it here and then it is consumed again here and then it stopped so this is the whole uh, process what's happening inside the project right so there are many components available uh, as like here if you look at your file and JMS Kafka and um, there are many more available so the we can discuss uh, each and everything uh, in our future uh, videos but for now uh, this is enough for us we will uh, go ahead and see what all I've done in the application YAML so for the application YAML I've done that um, we have to execute com continuously execute the camel uh, controller to make sure the uh, application is continually listening on to this particular directory to make sure whenever we post a, uh, you know let's say we have we save a file here it is getting reflected um, on the output so let me go ahead and show you guys here so if you look at here the output um, it consumes the message so if you look at the uh, let me open the route so it says receive the file and then it is processing file uh, text one and then it says the content is hello world and the processing file here in the process file again um, mentions that uh, so this is the body that it mentions and then it goes to the processor and inside the processor if you look at here it is saying that reading the message body so it is hello world and then the file content has been updated through the processor so I didn't print anything the updated value inside this instead I'm printing it inside the route where it comes so it, it is printing hello and body so the value is you know the value if you look at here the hello world has been translated into this so there are many things that we can do here but for now this is a simple project that uh, to get you hold of uh, the introduction part to camel hope this video is helpful for you guys so if you find this video helpful please don't forget to subscribe and uh, click the like button and share it to your friends and um, keep subscribed so that you will be notified on the upcoming videos on all the enterprise integration patterns I'm going to discuss. Thank you. I'll see you in the next one.